The aptly named Hanglu Beach welcomed a myriad of kite surfers and the world's top names to its stunning shores for two international events held back to back from the 8th to the 19th of July. The curtain first went up for the Kite Foil Gold Cup, followed by the Formula Kite Worlds, both raced under the umbrella of the 2015 Gizaria Kite Racing Grand Slam. A perfect opportunity for two weeks of kiting and partying. The theme of the event, a lower and beach party, aptly frames the story of the most anticipated international event held on Hanglu's beach in southern Italy. On the water, it is all about the kite surfing. Shoreside, the unique characteristics of the sport continue with a 10-day lifestyle and entertainment program, music and extreme sports, all wrapped up in a celebration of a Hawaiian beach and surfing lifestyle. This is a real pleasure to, to meet at each event all the riders from all the country of, all over the world. So we are really a very small family right now, little family, but that grows every, every month, every compete. There is uh, some more people and it's, uh, it's really, really great. Competition got underway with a Kite Foil Gold Cup. The world's best kiters from 17 nations across the globe were prepped and ready to hunt out a path to victory. The programme kicked off with two days of qualification races to decide the top half of the fleet who would advance to Gold Fleet Racing in the final series. The rest of the pack would face each other in Silver Fleet Racing. Octane week of racing in Italy with near perfect conditions. Maxime Noccia of Monaco showcased a stellar performance to dominate the fleet, sealing his victory in a show of tactical superiority. Second overall and top placed under 21 rider was Axel Mazella of France, marking one of his best ever performances. surprised to find Steph Bridge winning the women's division, counting a consistent top five scoreline in the silver fleet. presentation on Hanglu Beach continued the beach party atmosphere as riders celebrated each other's successes. Pressure did not ease as riders stepped straight onto the 2015 Formula Kite World Championships. The thermal breeze kept delivering perfect race action. Uh, 
Yeah, there are many good riders from all over the world. There are like Oli, Maxim, Blasco, the really top riders. So the level on the water is really good. And tomorrow we start in to racing in uh, Gold Street, so it's going to be good. A dominant start to the event for Great Britain's young talent Oliver Bridge, whose stunning performance was a testament to his talent. Also on form was reigning world champion Maxim Nosha of Monaco, whose relentless pursuit of perfection continued as he sought back-to-back -back victories. But it was no easy task in a fleet packed full of contenders fiercely hounding him around the track from start to finish. Yeah, the Europeans were uh, pretty good for me in, on the second place. And yeah, here are a few more top riders now. At the Europeans, uh, there were around three, four of the top 15 missing. So now we are three, four more riders in the top uh, 15 and it's getting closer and closer. So let's see uh, how, how it goes. In the women's division, an epic clash unfolded between multiple world champions Stephanie Bridge from Great Britain and Russia's rising star Elena Kalinina. Steph and Elena delivered textbook performances all week as each seized fronts of fleet scorecards. Off the back of winning the Kite Foil Gold Cup on the same track the previous week, Maxim Nocha was tuned in for another world title. But Oliver Bridge was breathing down his neck, covering his every move and seizing every opportunity to attack. Bridge was aiming to add world championship gold to his European title, claimed in June 2015. Ultimately, consistency paid off for Nocha, who defended his world title. I'm very, very happy to win the world champion title again. And yeah, racing is also you have to to be very clear in a, during a race, and because it's average average of a race, and you have to be very concentrated, and you can win all the race and just lose the finale day. In the women's fleet, the thrillingly tight battle between Elena Kalinina and Steph Bridge continued right to the end. A stellar performance from Kalinina with three wins from four medal races sealed her world championship title, second to Bridge. Anastasia Akopova's go-for-broke approach rewarded her with bronze in a show of commitment, strength and confidence from the young 17-year-old rider. It was soon time to relish success and enjoy reflecting on an action-packed week of world-class racing. Winners celebrated their titles to warm applause, followed by a memorable beach party and stylish hospitality on Hang Loose Beach.